This is Tichi. All right. All right. Went and uh, put Miss Tichi up. She's a little princess. Uh, she gets up, she eats, plays, and then it's back into the air conditioning where she takes a nap until it's time to eat and play again. So what a life. But we can't do that. We got work to do. And it is hot out there. Excuse my appearance, but it's uh, heat index is over 100 next minute it'll rain you think it's going to cool off and two minutes later it stops and it's like a sauna and that's what we've been dealing with all day but if you saw by my thumbnail we made a marble crack key container and i know what y'all are thinking my god he's lost his mind he's went from cheap and easy to luxurious but i'm going to show you how in the long run this is actually more cost effective than this next week if you're worried about the plastic i've got some comments about why aren't we using plastic and, and I'm still using plastic there's all types of plastic there's food grade this is a food grade container um, I'll link that up if y'all want to take a look or I can do a review on it in one of the future videos but there's food grade alternatives to everything that instead of going to the dollar store you can go to the supermarket and get a food grade container to use and even this our downspout that these are actually emulated uh, after uh, food grade NFT channels and you have to buy the covers for those and end caps and things like that. And the cost gets a little high. But if you don't mind paying the cost up front, that it is uh, possible to have everything food grade. But I still had a small amount of people that were going, even if it's food grade, I don't want to use any plastics. And I can't grow my own garden. I don't have a yard like people in apartments and things like that. So they said, I looked through all the hydroponics and aeroponics, hydroponics, uh, aquaponics and things like that. And everything seems to have plastic in some kind of way, shape, or form in either what it's made out of or, or the, the system itself or the drainage or the irrigation or the holding tanks or the water collection or so, somewhere there, there's plastic involved. And they said, why is that? And I was like, I don't know. Maybe it's just the cheapest way to do it, and that's why everyone does it. So uh, hydroponics has been around for thousands of years. Plastic's only been around for less than 100. I know when I was a kid, we were drinking out of glass bottles and not two-liter plastic bottles. So uh, maybe it's because it's not cost-effective or it's too labor-intensive, but we're going to find out. So we're going to build ours. The tiles were less than eight bucks, and the food-grade sealant that I'm going to use, I'll link that up if you all want to take a look and see what that is. The food grade sealant was $6 for a tube and I used about a quarter of it. So less than $10 we built this container. So we're going to do that. That way the people who want to go cheap and easy can do it. The people who want to upgrade to food grade can do it. And the people who want to go all natural can do it. That we'll have the whole spectrum covered. And then wherever your comfort zone is in there, that we'll have something for everyone. Because I want to encompass everybody. Uh, eating is a necessity no matter where you are in the world and no matter how much money or what your lifestyle is uh, you either buy it or you grow it and you can't like just decide not to partake in it it's a necessity so if you can't buy it I want you to be able to grow it um, so that's why we're trying to do this to encompass everyone we're gonna try and go all natural but we're still gonna try and keep the cost down so we're gonna get out there lots of stuff lots of ideas y'all guys have given me in the feedback and, and dms and, and emails and that i'll put my email up here all kinds of suggestions we're gonna have fun for the next couple of months experimenting and by the time fall gets here we'll figure out what works and what doesn't and maybe i'll have the whole garden like mass produced with these things but for right now we're just going to build a marble crack key 
off-grid grow box. I don't think I've seen one of those before. Can we say that? The world's first ever marble crack key off-grid grow box. Let's get out there and do it.